So one of the questions I'm often asked is, you know, what's a tipping point for flexibility? You know, how much flexibility, is it too much to be too flexible on the one side? And, you know, in some cases we have to stay the course and be stable. This is precisely the idea behind super flexibility rather than just flexibility. Because when we talk about super flexibility, it's about a balancing act. The ability to withstand turbulence and stay the course and the ability to adapt, transform, and reinvent yourself. So think about the crocodile on the one hand and the chameleon on the other hand. And that is what you really want to do, is where do I need to be consistent, stable, and not change? And where do I need to reinvent myself? So in most cases, your culture and your value system is not going to change overnight. You know, it's like human personality. I cannot suddenly become somebody else. I am who I am. So I would say your culture, your core competence, your broad strategic intention in your marketplace, those are elements that have to withstand turbulence. You can't reinvent. I give you an example of Apple. Back in 1984, when Steve Jobs launched Macintosh, he was talking about technology for the rest of us. That was the mission, the purpose of Apple at that time. If you bring it all the way up to date to today, that is still the purpose and the mission of Apple, is taking the best of breed technology and developing products that you and I uh, can use in an easy to use intuitive way. So when you think about super flexibility, think about this balancing act. Where do I need to stay the course and be stable and not change my trajectory? And where do I need to adapt, reinvent, and change course? And as I said, the two images that come to mind is the crocodile and the chameleon. And this is where I see many leaders have a big challenge because they tend to think either or. Either I've got to throw everything up in the air and I've got to completely, you know, transform myself as an organization, or I have to sort of stay the course and be who we are because we're 100 years old and we've got to keep this pedigree. And of course, the secret source of super flexibility is in addressing this balancing act. So that's why I, I'd like to engage my leaders in, in this diagnostic exercise, which says, where do you need to stay the course and be stable and keep what you've got and where do you need to um, add new ingredients because the world has changed and you need it and where do you need to throw things out because they worked at one time uh, perfectly but they don't work anymore and this is what I call spring cleaning the ability to really engage in this diagnostic reflection exercise what do I keep what do I throw out and what do I add uh, and again, this is much easier said than done. If you're running a 200,000 person organization, if you're running a, you know, established a business with a lot of customers and a lot of history, that conversation becomes very challenging because you have many vested interests. You have a lot of people who are going to push back and want to keep their legacy at any cost. So that balancing act becomes uh, the real deciding factor.